young climate advocates gathered for a protest late this afternoon at the Peace Corner in downtown Bend. They're protesting plans for a natural gas pipeline expansion. It would emit a whole crap ton of carbon and um, it could possibly spill, which would be detrimental. Seeing other people out here means that people know what's going on and that they're willing to do the work to stop it. Students from several area schools and other groups gathered at Wall Street and Greenwood Avenue in downtown Bend to demonstrate their opposition. TC Energy is the Canadian company looking to expand the natural gas pipeline passing through Bend and other parts of Deschutes County. Today, Kelsey and McGee spoke with the organizers about their message. It's sort of like a ticking clock um, that's always kind of in my head. What's life going to look like when I am older? Am I going to have a sustainable planet to live on? Young advocates from COCC, OSU Cascades, and Summit High School are staging a protest in downtown Bend, urging more opposition to the gas transmission Northwest Pipeline expansion. The pipeline spans from California to British Columbia, going through Idaho, Washington, and Oregon, including just east of Bend. In 2019, when I was, what would that be, 16, uh, there was the UN climate report, that, so we had like seven to ten years until uh, climate change, the effects of climate change became irreversible. TC Energy is proposing to meet demand by expanding the capacity of the nearly 1,400 mile pipeline, which has been operating since 1961. In a statement to News Channel 21, TC Energy says demand for more natural gas is clear since it has long term agreements for all of the project's capacity. Among the opponents are 350 Deschutes, a Ben nonprofit that engages in climate advocacy and education. We know that all pipelines leak, and uh, unfortunately, when uh, Keystone XL pipeline did an expansion similar to the one that is being proposed by TC Energy, they had um, a significant oil spill. Executive Director Diane Hodiak says Oregon is on the path to electrification, along with California and Washington. This is going to really uh, derail our efforts because this pipeline, uh, what they're proposing is so significant, it's equivalent to putting 750,000 cars on the road every year for 30 years. The expansion's opponents also are holding what they call a people's hearing on Monday at 5 p.m. for advocates, physicians, elected officials, and other concerned community members. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission will decide soon whether to approve the expansion. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21. Tonight we're asking, do you support expansion of the natural gas pipeline near Bend? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You could vote on previous polls on our polls page, which you'll find under the News tab.